Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Elgin Martinez from the Immigrant Education Channel, the only channel that addresses real immigrant issues. Coming to you with another informative video. But, ladies and gentlemen, this video is going to be about a happy ending from an immigrant, Guatemalan immigrant, who was added, deported from the U.S. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, under U.S. immigration law, if someone is to be added, deported, then immigration is supposed to provide them with a notice of appear. But ladies and gentlemen, in this case, Mr. Nis Chavez, the immigrant's name was added two notice to appear instead of one. Mr. Nis Chavez then decided to challenge his deportation. And uh, fortunately, the US Supreme Court agreed that Mr. Nis Chavez's right was violated under federal law. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, U.S. Supreme Court sided with immigrant fighting deportation. Ladies and gentlemen, the Supreme Court on Thursday sided seeking, sided with a non-citizen, sorry, of Guatemalan descent, seeking to challenge his removal from the U.S. by immigration authorities. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, in a 6-3 decision, the court said the Justice Department was violating federal law by not providing immigrants its seek to the port with a single comprehensive notice to appear with details on the charges and scheduled court appearance. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, Augusto Nis Chavez, who brought the case, illegally crossed the U.S. southern border in 2005 and settled in Detroit. Ladies and gentlemen, in 2013, the government initiated removal proceedings against him, that's Ms. Chavez, first sending a notice of the charges and later sending a second notice with the date and time of his court appearance. Ladies and gentlemen, the timing of the multiple notices was at the center of the case under federal immigration law an immigrant can only appeal a removal order if they've been living in the U.S. continuously for at least 10 years. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, the same law says that the clock stops once a notice to appear is issued. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Chavez argued that the multiple notices he received did not constitute a single notice to appear as required by law. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, the court agreed with Ms. Chavez that in order to stop the 10-year clock, the government must provide written notice in one document instead of two. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of this video. Please share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can be informed whenever I upload another video. Last but not least, thanks to all my viewers and subscribers, and thanks for your continued support.